returning thank you and welcome back if you haven't already hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell and hit the notification bell twice this way you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week today on creative glam craft I'm participating in a collaboration and this collaboration is called spring decor DIY under $20 challenge and this collab is being hosted by Sharon of Creative Glam and co-hosted by For Lisa of Homebody with For Lisa. I'm excited to participate in this collaboration. They both have absolutely wonderful channels here on YouTube. I will leave a link to both of their channels down below in the description box. Make sure you stop by and check them out. I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the participants in this collaboration. The details of this collaboration was that we create whatever we wanted to create as long as it was spring decor and under $20. So today I'm going to share with you my spring sampler shadow box. Let's get started. Okay. So this is the frame that I will be making my spring sampler in. Um, I got this frame from Michaels. Uh, it is an 11 by 14 with the mat inside. It's eight and a half by 11. Those are my dimensions. So let me open this. been wanting to make one of these samplers uh, for a while now um, but I just didn't have time to get around to it and now I am so I'm excited A bay leaf green. I really wanted a sage green, which is a little lighter, a little more a silver tint to it. But this is close. Bay leaf green. I love these kind of projects because it uh, allows me to do two of the things that I love, which is home decor, making home DIY and home decor, uh, but using a lot of my craft product products and using a lot of my craft items to create that DIY. I enjoy that. It's the best of both worlds to me. Okay guys, I got my layout set. I got all my papers cut. I've got the background is the navy blue. I've got one, two, three large squares that are five and a quarter by two and a quarter. I've got one, two medium sized squares that are two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And then I've got one, two, three, four smaller squares that are two by two. And I've matted them on um, Whisper White cardstock. And then on top of that, I've got the, uh, the Martha Stewart paper in bay leaf green.
I just love this color combination. I really do. There's something about that blue and green together. It just screams spring and summer to me. Now what I'm gonna do is take my base and adhere it to here. I'm going to adhere it to the to the blue mat. I got it all matted. I got everything in place. Three D stickers. I like the blue bike. I like the. I like the red bike because it has a, a basket on it. So I'm gonna go with that one. And I'm gonna have to cut these out because I'm not quite ready to stick them on the paper. So I'm gonna cut around the sticker.
Okay guys, that's it. We're all done. My spring sampler shadow box. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my spring sampler shadow box. I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. What do you think? I want to thank Sharon and for Lisa for inviting me to participate in their collaboration. It was lots of fun. And if you enjoyed it too, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. Hit that notification bell twice so you'll be notified when I upload new videos and I upload new videos multiple times a week. Creative Glam is my main channel. Creative Glam Crafts that you're watching right now is my second channel. Now that you've finished watching my video, click the playlist link down below in the description box and check out the other participants in this collaboration. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam Crafts. Bye.